The Jenny and Holmes Charles Tour swung back into action last week with the Barford and Thompson Akarana Open in central Auckland. A star-studded men's field included newly minted New Zealand Open champion Michael Hendry, who, ranked 118th in the world, is the highest ranked golfer to tear it up on the Charles Tour. But it was 2015 Akarana Open winner Gareth Patterson who held a three-shot lead heading into the final round. But through the birdie-friendly opening stretch of holes, the Wellington Pro found the trees on the first, second and fourth holes and had to scramble for par. While Patterson failed to capitalise, others were picking up shots and quickly eating into his lead, including classy amateur Daniel Hillier, who had that 18-inch tap-in for an eagle two on the second hole. Also firing early was Hendry, who went three under in his first four holes to get to 15 under and one off Patterson's lead. Patterson was soon overhauled by Mark Brown, who eagled the first and was five under through the opening five holes to take charge at 17 under. But as Brown got into bogey trouble, Hendry grabbed the initiative with two birdies through the turn to be outright leader. He'd get to 18 under with another birdie on the 12th hole, which very nearly could have been eagle, as the New Zealand number two was six under for the day. But Brown made a comeback with three consecutive birdies to begin the back nine, all from pinpoint pitch shots like this on the 12th. There were now five golfers within two shots of the lead, including inform amateurs Henry Spring of Fakatane, who got to 17 under through 10 holes. And Hillier, who also sat just one back from Henry with this birdie on 12, before both young guns slipped back to 16 under. Playing the last, Henry extricated himself from the trees but could only manage a par to set the clubhouse lead at 18 under. He'd wait nervously, knowing Brown and Patterson could force a playoff with birdie on the last. Patterson waited 14 holes for his first birdie of the day and needed a second to force extra holes. This exquisite pitch shot into the final green was the perfect result. And with Brown leaving too much on his birdie putt, it was Patterson and Hendry who'd returned to the 18th tee for sudden death. The two multiple winners on the Charles Tour parred the first two extra holes before Hendry flinched first. The Japan Tour pro again in the right rough punching his way out, but into further trouble in the greenside bunker. From there, Henry showed his class, escaping from the sand trap to within two feet of the cup, where he'd rescue par with a nervy up and down to the amusement of the Akarana members. And with Patterson only managing par himself, the pair returned to the 18th tee for a fourth extra hole. With Hendry already middle of the green, Patterson repeated his heroics from regulation and zipped his approach shot back to within two feet of the cup. Hendry couldn't match the Wellingtonian's gimme birdie, and Patterson tapped in for his second Barfoot and Thompson Akarana Open. There's a lot of pride in these events for me. I haven't sort of had the results that Mark and Mike have got, so be able to hit a shot like that into the 18th a couple of times, and yeah, much relief to get it done, and yeah, couldn't, couldn't be happier, really. So Gareth Patterson leaps to third on the season-long Jenny and Holmes Charles Tour points race. After three events, Brad Shilton holds a narrow lead over Dominic Barson, with Josh Geary, Mark Brown, and Mike Hendry all lurking. In the women's field, North Harbour's Honey Song surged into the lead with a second round six under 66. The 20-year-old turned pro in 2015, but after some time away from the game, returned to tournament golf in November, where she strung together three top tens on the Australian Ladies Tour. Song led Auckland 13-year-old Carmen Lim by just one heading into the final round, where she stretched that margin to four shots. Honey Song picking up her first Jenny and Holmes Charles Tour title with a big victory at the Barford and Thompson Akarana Open. It feels really good. Um, it means a lot because it is my first win and I'd like to see more coming. <laughs> the Jenny and Holmes Charles Tour moves west this week for the fourth stop of the season, the Ortex Mirawai Open.